left something for all of you. This is how we save Dad. Alright, what is going on guys? It's Taz here, and welcome back to the channel. Superman and Lois's return for their fourth and final season is quickly approaching, and with it comes new teasers, promo images, and of course trailers. Back at Comic-Con in July, we received not only our first look at Season 4 with a new trailer and poster, but also a sneak peek preview of the continuation of the Superman vs. Doomsday fight. We know that this season will pick up basically right where we left off in Season 3 and answer many of the cliffhangers we were left on. This will also be a two-episode premiere, however, the release date has been shifted up by about a week and a half from where it originally was to now dropping on Monday, October 7th. As a way to kickstart the hype train once again, as well as advertise the earlier premiere date, we have another look at Season 4 in the form of a new trailer this time expanding on what was previously revealed to us, giving a little more context to the Comic-Con footage. So with that, as always, the link to the full trailer along with any relevant articles will be down there in the description for you guys to check out for yourselves, but without any further ado, let's leap right into this trailer breakdown. The trailer kicks off with a monologue from Lex Luthor talking about Smallville and almost mocking it along with the people in it. Based off of the newspaper headline we see, it seems like against all odds, Smallville comes out on the other side of Lex's plot from the end of last season. And that gives him motivation going into Season 4, it seems like in addition to taking down Lois Lane, now that he's defeated Superman, Smallville is also in Luther's crosshairs. Continuing on, we get a bit of an extended look at the aftermath of Superman's fight with Doomsday, as Lois discovers his brutalized and lifeless body in the middle of Smallville. Back to the voiceover, Lois responds to Lex by saying she's not scared of him, only for Lex to reply, you will be. So yeah, Lex has some plans, evil ones that will be tough to counter without the Man of Steel. John Henry and Natalie discuss the situation, addressing the fact that not only have John and Jordan lost their father, but now the world is without its protector. That means the Steels must rise to the occasion and attempt to fill in for Superman in his untimely absence. Speaking of filling in for Superman, we get an expanded look at the scene where Jordan as Superboy confronts Lex in the restaurant, going as far as to pin him up against the wall, trying to assert his power over the man who led to his father's death. However, Lex seems to be quite unfazed by Jordan, as we once again get Lois's words repeated to Jordan, telling him he's not ready for this responsibility. An echo of Clark's voice says that it's just going to be the three of you, referring to Lois, Jordan, and Jonathan, as we see them standing over his body in the fortress in some sort of Kryptonian recovery back to tank. Following on, we get by far the coolest moment of the entire trailer, clean-shaven Lex talking to one of his minions, telling her that they have to pay for what they did. He suits up into his own version of John Henry Steel suits, marking the beginning of his Lexo suit. I really do hope that we get to see Lex upgrade and change the suit over time, so it gets that classic green and purple color scheme with the big old L for Luther on the chest plate. Based off of the response from Lex's henchwoman, it sounds like his plan is to wipe out the town of Smallville as revenge for what they did. After this, we get a few quick cuts of a bunch of different big moments to expect, Jordan versus some kryptonite weaponry, General Lane being buried alive, Lois screaming after something bad has inevitably happened, Doomsday, Sarah and Lana fighting off most likely one of Lex's goons, as well as the Steels flying into battle. John Henry and Natalie face off against Doomsday, and I'm thinking this is right after Clark has been killed, and they are the last line of defense to defeat the monstrous creature. 
The final little stinger before the trailer wraps up has Holla Grandma tell the family that Clark has left something for them, to which Jordan responds, This is how we save Dad. End of trailer, two-part season premiere, Monday, October 7th. Wow, what a trailer. Tons of new footage, along with some extra added context to the previous trailer, teaser, and promo images. First big theory, what is the secret item left behind by Clark that will be used to save him? It has to be some sort of solar healing device. We see Clark inside of that little healing tank, and I'm going to assume that resting and recharging in there is what will eventually revive him and bring him back to full strength. Slightly different from the traditional story where no one knows that Superman is healing and not 100% dead, but a very similar method of revival here in the Fortress of Solitude. The trailer also hammered home the fact that the show seems to be doing their own take on the reign of the Superman, as Jordan, John Henry, and Natalie all seem to be out and about, filling in for Superman while he recovers. It also seems like the theme of family will be a big one this season, Smallville coming together as a community, the Kents, Irons, Langs, and Cushings all working together to keep their town safe from the threat that is Lex Luthor. We now do also have a more concrete idea as to what Lex is planning, rebuild his empire and destroy all those who have wronged him in the past or anyone who gets in his way currently. I love that we get the classic bald and clean shaven Lex along with the prototype Lexo suit, which like I mentioned before, I hope continues to get upgraded throughout the season. One final theory, both trailers set it up as if General Lane is going to get killed by Lex, however, I doubt that's the case. Jordan or John Henry and Natalie will swoop in at the last possible moment to save him, which lines up perfectly with one of the promo images where we see him back in his DoD uniform, most likely stepping back into his leadership role after Clark's quote-unquote death and his near-death experience with Lex. Overall guys, this trailer definitely ignites the hype train for the fourth and final season. I know we're in for one incredible ride with this one, and I have full confidence that the series will wrap up in a satisfying way, not just story-wise, but for each and every character we've grown to love along the way. Don't forget, we have Tom Cavanaugh playing an iconic comic character that isn't the reverse Flash at some point this season as well. But with all of that said, I want to know your thoughts on everything Superman and Lois Season 4 down there in the comments below. How do you think the Kents will revive Clark post-Doomsday Death? How far do you think they will take the reign of the Superman storyline, potentially even giving Jonathan powers? And what element are you looking forward to most here in the fourth and final season? Just let me know your thoughts on all of this down there in the comments below. But until next time, guys, it's been Taz, and I'll see you guys in the next video.